this is the second part to uh, repairing your non-ejecting drive and this second part the repair is done from the outside of the drive without taking the unit apart you just have to peel the sticker off and that would ex expose the plastic hub the cover you put a small screwdriver here and just and just break the the glue so this is the plastic cover and then you would have access to the hub this is the nylon hub and I had a piece of paper on the other side before so this second part what you do is you take the metal piece out and put the paper inside the the metal so it's sort of like uh, between the magnet and the nylon hub so this is the paper that I glued on this side before I unpeeled it and you can look at the size of the magnet it's so small so I'm gonna cut it this around the same size The thing with this is, you never know how much the magnetism needs to be reduced for it to work. So it's sort of like a little guessing game. But even if you didn't get a 100% right, it might not open 100% of the time. It would still probably open oh, I hear the dawn cat out there so you put this back with the piece of paper in place and because the paper is there it would probably reduce the magnetism somewhat and then you just lock this back in place again so this is how it looks with the hub and the magnet cover back in place there's a slot that you put in and then you twist it don't put the don't make the paper too thick otherwise uh, you would have a hard time finessing the cover back in place and then you just reinstall the hub and Let's see here. You just put it back in like this, and then this here, you just glue it and put it back in, and hopefully, it will work. But depending on the thickness of the paper and the magnetism, it might not work 100% of the time, like I said, but it should work enough times for you to be able to eject your disc so this would be a better fix than to put your paper here because eventually I think the paper would come off whereas if the paper is inside and and covered by this plate here it would probably stay there and not come out so You can see the slot. Yeah, this is how you take it back out. This is the magnet piece. This is the cover. Just center it back in the hole. That's the piece of paper. And then you just put it together again. Yeah, like that. This is slot on three sides. And then you just twist it. It's like a bayonet mang of some kind but you have to do it just right uh, it's difficult to do on camera but make sure you don't cut yourself because it's a little sharp you know the sheet metal here see I don't know if you can see too clearly but now it is in place if it is not in place this whole thing would come off and, and just spin and you're gonna have a problem because 
your disk won't be balanced and you you're gonna have the thing swirling around and then making a whole lot of noise so this would be more of a permanent fix but probably the better fix is to buy a new one they're so cheap now the reason I took this apart is I actually got a new unit I bought it for about sixteen dollars you can put some glue on it or if you don't have glue stick this whole thing back in I'm, I'm sure it's not gonna fly out and then uh, it's done